Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. So as I've said before on my channel, I have high functioning autism. Not only does my autism make me struggle socially, but autism is also a sensory processing disorder. Because I have a sensory processing disorder, I'm looking for good sensory tools. Whether it would be satisfying and relaxing toys, such as slime or a stress ball, or movement, such as playing on a swing, or even getting a massage or sitting in a vibrating chair can be considered a sensory. Basically, anything that's good and will make me happy is a sensory to me. If you want to learn more about sensory tools, I have a video up on my channel where I talk about the different sensory tools I use. I want to start making videos where I see if certain toys would make good sensory tools. Today, I will be trying out the Slinky. Now, does anyone remember the Slinky? It's that spring toy that's famous for walking down the stairs all by itself, and it has always been a really cool toy. This was my absolute favorite toy when I was a kid. I loved the Slinky so much that if mine tangled or stretched, I would beg and scream for my mom to go out immediately and get me a new one. Like, I wouldn't be happy again until my mom got me a new Slinky. So basically, I'm gonna be testing out the Slinky to see if it's good for autism and other sensory processing disorders. Let's take it out of the box. So here it is, the Slinky. The first reason why I recommend this as a sensory tool is because when you do this, it's like a massage for your hands. It gives off a vibrating feeling, kind of like a vibrating chair. Now you may be thinking, but this toy is so noisy. Kids with autism are not gonna like this because when you have a sensory processing disorder, you can't handle noise. Yes, the Slinky is noisy, but it's actually a good noise. It's a very relaxing, vibrating noise. I believe people with autism will actually love the noise it makes. Not only that, but it feels really nice. It's a very flexible toy that you can do pretty much anything with. You can do all these cool tricks with it. For example, you can do this. Or this. Oh. <laughs> or you can even do this. And it's kind of satisfying and relaxing to see the Slinky do all these cool tricks. So basically the flexibility and vibration of the Slinky is very relaxing and soothing. It's even relaxing to watch this walk down the stairs. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show you this walking down the stairs. So basically, if you're upset or sad or you're having a meltdown, the Slinky is a good distraction for that because it is so fun to play with. I love all the cool stuff I can do with it. If you have autism or you have a child with autism and you need a cool new sensory tool for them, I highly recommend the Slinky. The Slinky has been a favorite of so many kids over the years and I guarantee that pretty soon it'll become the favorite of many kids and people with autism. For sensory tools for autism, I give the Slinky a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you go buy a Slinky and try it out. The Slinky has really helped me with my autism and if you have autism, I hope it helps you too. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, what are your thoughts on the Slinky for autism? Do you recommend the Slinky for people with autism or not? Thank you for watching. Bye.